Welcome back to Boston's Red Carpet. I'm Tanya Mesrick. Now it's time to take a look at some of the best looks of the night from the horsing around at the Ritz Gala and the after party, brought to you in part by the new Avery Bar. Alexandra, you look stunning tonight. Who are you? Who are you wearing? So this is actually Agent Provocateur with a BC BG skirt and then Jimmy Choo. Lita, what are you wearing? I'm wearing Zach Posen for Target. That is the best. You look stunning. Thank you. Corinne, what are you wearing? My favorite designer, Talbot Runhoff. They're from Ger Germany, made in Berlin. I love this whole outfit. Thank you. The lapel pin, the glasses. Tell me about it. Sure. So the jacket is Ted Baker. Um, it's, it's just, I just love um, pattern and color. Um, the glasses are C. Christina, who are you wearing tonight? Good old Prada. <laughs> and your necklace? My necklace is from Portobello Road. Oh, we love Portobello Road. See us at Portobello Road and I'll show you all their sparkly things. What do you have on, young <laughs> sir? Well, I love to mix things up, so I've got my off-whites and a little bit of Calvin Klein. I love your whole look. Thank you so much. Who are you wearing? Um, ASOS. Jenny, you're, you look smashing tonight. What are you wearing? Ronnie Kobo. I actually love this designer, and typically the ones of the dresses that I'm wearing are much more form-fitted, but this one feels a little bit more relaxed. I like how, like how it's draped in various. John, I think we match. What are you wearing? A vintage jacket. I love it. Ben, what do you think of this, the new digs here, the new Avery? I mean, I love it. It's modern, it's cool, it's very hip, it's, uh, it's great. I think they did a great job with it. I really like the host of the show. <laughs> We're here in the rolling hills of Vina Farm. What a bucolic setting. I'm so thrilled to have you guys here. We have fashion influencer, Laura Pizzuti. Hi, everyone. And event designer, Jimmy Gus. Thank you so much, Tanya. Yeah, Thanks. this is gonna be a lot of fun. So let's dig in. This year, it was all about brocade, and the guys really brought it. Totally. <laughs> John Lamb was looking so hot in his gold brocade jacket, I know. vintage. Yeah. And it was vintage, and it was very reminiscent of yeah. an old Hollywood throwback, which I loved. Yes, and I love gold, and shopping vintage is just so echo-minded. Mm -hmm. Yeah, save money. <laughs> <laughs> and save the environment. Save the environment. It's all about the environment. <laughs> Next up was Gregory Sherapon. Yeah. And he was in Ted Baker and Louboutin. Yes. And Laura, I know you've worn glasses from time to time. Yes, I, I do wear them to drive. But anyways, he said Gregory as a kid did not like wearing glasses. But as an adult, he's totally grown into them and he totally rocks them. Wow, and he looked amazing. And I, I'm just crazy about that red shirt and jacket combo. Yeah. I feel like Ted Baker is such a great entry level brand yeah. that doesn't break the bank. Absolutely. And then the red shirt is it's, it's unique to it's do a red instead of a white shirt. It's refreshing. Totally, I agree. Very Iris stole the show yeah. in her br green brocade dress. Mm -hmm. It was handed down from her mother who had it handmade. <laughs> I wish my mom had something like that to hand down to me. I mean, no kidding. And I heard her mother actually chose the fabric herself and had it custom sewn in Brookline. Mm -hmm. And the jewelry was handed down by her mom too, which I thought was fabulous. Yeah, custom is definitely the way to go. It's, it's so timeless. Christina Lyons rounds out our brocade crew yes. in mm -hmm. Prada. Yes, well Prada is <laughs> a classic luxury brand whose latest collection really focused on making the mundane must have. And Christina's dress is definitely a must have. There's nothing mundane about it. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. And the celebrity patrons that wear Prada all the time are Cameron Diaz, Kim yeah. Kardashian, yeah. and Joaquin Phoenix. Mm. Our next group was all about the print. Mm. And Molly, she wowed us in her throwback to the 20s. I'm just obsessed with her finger curls. Like that's a really hard look to do it yourself. And she said she just worked with her curls and it came out amazing. Yeah, I mean, I struggle with my curls too. From <laughs> <laughs> um, but I am like really digging her dress. The lines and the cuff flow seamlessly and just really beautifully. Up next was Lita. And she was pretty in pink in her Zach Posen dress from Target. <laughs> I mean, Target is my go-to for shopping, for high-low shopping, and I love affordable fashion. Can you believe they're celebrating 20 years of designer partnerships this year? I mean, wow. with big names such as Placoon, Proenza Schuler, um, Sony, Jason Wu, and Lily Pulitzer. And Lita's dress was from the Zach Posen collection, which was a 2010 collaboration. 
And it's just fantastic to see all these designs coming back for this special collection. I love that, it's amazing. Our final category was black and white. Mm. Yeah. Aiden really stepped up his style game mm -hmm. in a Calvin Klein white dinner jacket and he had on off-white sneakers. Yeah. Jimmy, what do you think of a white dinner jacket? This says James Bond to me. I mean, he's only 13 years old and he's pulling off this look. Like, how amazing is that? Amazing. <laughs> so I have teenagers and I know how hard it is to agree on fashion. Can we talk about those shoes though? The like tag. the tag. Yeah. <laughs> I know. The tag, well, I know. That label, you're supposed to leave the tag on. Uh, for fashion posterity, but I don't know about that. You know, <laughs> it, it's a fashion statement though, for sure. It's something new every day. <laughs> <laughs> and up next is Jenny Johnson mm. in Ronnie Kobo. I love Jenny. I mean, she always looks gorgeous and her look is just very classic and sophisticated. And while it's classic and sophisticated, that slit is giving me so much yeah. life because it's, it's just so edgy. Yeah. Alexandra brought her A-game and agent provocateur. Mm. Yes, um, this is actually a lingerie house, but ladies like to and should feel free to wear their corsets mm. inside and outside the home. I, I loved her nod to the 80s. It felt very Madonna, and her white pumps are just so on trend right now. Yeah, anytime you can do double duty with your fashion choices, you are winning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. It's time to choose a winner. Such a hard choice. They were all so good. This is tough. Okay, let's count it down. All right. All right. Three, two, two, one. Jenny Johnson! <laughs> <laughs> why, 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 why do we choose her? It's just a classic, timeless look that would work in 10 years. It would have worked 10 years ago. Yes. It's just always yeah. like, you know. I mean, everything was together. Her lips, her hair, her shoes, yeah. her dress. It was all there. Yeah, she really had it going on and looked gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And honorable mention was Aiden yes. in his white jacket and I those sneakers with the tag. Yes. <laughs> yes. He, he great, deserved yeah. it for that. Yeah. yeah. It was a great look. Time has come to wrap up another episode of Boston's Red Carpet. We want to thank our generous sponsors who made the show possible. Raffinelli Events, The Heritage on the Garden, and our media sponsor, Boston Magazine. We'll see you next time on Boston's Red Carpet. Thank you.